It's time for adventure. But not for me. Instead, for this little dude. Because ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a new dawn and a new day where this is my son outfit, this is my girlfriend Lydia, and these guys are about to go off swimming. Now I have to ask the question. You're two months old. You can't crawl. You can't walk. How are you supposed to swim? I really have no idea, but with the power of dory little swimmy nappies, this little dude's about to find out. So bye bye now. The brave adventurers set off to the swimming pool where dad will be joining later. But first, breakfast. Oh, go on then. We'll have oats. But this time, <laughs> I'm cooking them on a hob. Hold the oats. I've just had this notification saying that the world's brightest flashlight is being delivered today for a bit of context this is a duracell torch that you can just buy from like walmart right and it is a whopping a thousand lumens and it's a pretty bright torch inside my garage i've got this absolute chonky boy that i use for my mountain biking and this is 1800 lumens but the one that's coming today is the world's brightest torch at 200 thousand lumens 200 of these it's that intense that it's got three flashlights to keep it cool and apparently you can cook an egg with it. So I am very excited. It should be here in the next hour, two hours. So let's get ourselves set up for the day with the most important meal of the day. There's no way. There is no way. My like Phil. Wait, is it actually you? Yeah. Oh, mate, I thought it was going to come in two hours. <gasps> yes. Yes. Go on, Phil. This is the world's brightest torch. That's mate, it's 200,000 lumens. Oh, he's if you put a pan on top of it, you can cook an egg. No way, you ought to see that. Eh? <laughs> I'll send you a video. <laughs> Cheers, Phil. Appreciate you, mate. What a legend. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's so heavy, but it's here. And I got me bloody oats. I can hear my oats bubbling like crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. Do not need this exploding everywhere. What a way to start a day. I literally just text my local postman who always led us to this house. I just text him saying, is this you? With a picture of like the tracking. And he texts me saying, I'm at your gate. Yes! My order's here, the oats are ready. We've drizzled on the super honey. Oh, what a day. Just, what a day. <laughs> it's only just started. Make sure you subscribed and dinged on that notification bell. Because this, this is about to be epic. All right, no time like the present. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so dang excited about getting into this torch. We've waited so long for it, but I am really hoping that it is worth the wait because the cost of it, oh, it was not cheap in the slightest, coming in at like 700 pounds. I know, absolute ridiculous. I could have gotten one way cheaper, but it only did 120,000 lumens. And I thought, if you're gonna go big, you've gotta go the biggest. And you guys voted for me to go for the 200,000 version. So let's take it out because it comes in a, whoa! Talk about packaging! That's insane! Wait, what? It comes in a presentation box. <gasps> Look at the size of that thing! Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Wow. Oh! <laughs> wow, first of all, flipping heck, that is freezing cold it's just made out of complete metal it is ice cold to the touch it is so heavy but look at the state of that oh <laughs> if you are new around here click that subscribe button because we are going to have some fun shenanigans with this thing i genuinely cannot get over the scale of this thing so let's compare it to a thousand women torch like so <laughs> And the weight of this thing, oh my goodness. I, I'm glad I'm going to the gym. Torch to the side for a second. I can't believe how nice this packaging is. It comes in like a full presentation box. We've got two years warranty at 200,000 lumens and it goes 1,600 meters, which is a pretty far distance. But when you get inside it, look at this, it's so professional. We've got like uh, the world's longest charging plug. Inside this box is a, is a shoulder strap to be able to carry it with. That's how heavy this thing is. Absolutely unreal. So let's get it plugged in by screwing this thing off the back and revealing a type C USB. Plugging it in, which kind of somewhat doesn't fit because of the rubber around the edging. But let's see if it works. By getting some juice in it. And do we have 
power? I thought some fan would come on or something, but instead just a red LED light came on on the top. And this stage is probably going to take a while, but it's fine because it's still daylight outside. This is the most random segment in the vlog, but all the cardboard from yesterday is gone. Because what did you just say? Where does it come Mate, I don't know. I don't know. You are the cardboard king though, thank you. What a legend. The least I can do is make the guy a coffee, so that's what we're gonna do now. Keeping him nice and warm after all the chaos I cause him. Whilst also bringing him another cardboard box. What a deal. I've still got the entire day to get on with now, but I'm struggling to do so because my legs feel like concrete posts and I honestly look like a penguin. That or, or, or a drunken cowboy. How are you supposed to go to the gym work out and then walk the next few days later, I have no idea. Honestly, watch me walk past, this is how I'm walking. My legs keep giving way and I feel like my knees are about to collapse in on themselves. So I hope my personal trainer knows I'm putting in the effort because I'm putting my butt cheeks in this thing in the hopes to be recovered for tomorrow for the next session. Refresh or recovery? We're gonna go for this bad boy. I'm going to enjoy a 10 minute massage. I really hope it starts to get easier. 10 minutes later. Oh. You have to love being able to relax in my life for like a 10 minute period before I get a text on my sister saying, go, 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 go. Because <laughs> I've promised the crew at Syndicate Original, I will take them lunch and yep, I'm still walking like a cowboy. So rather than walking to the office, I'm driving. And I'm not going empty handed because I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to take to the charity shop because I am still in mad organization mode. <sighs> One teleport to the grapes, I have some pizzas. And no, don't think they're for me. They're for the fatties at Syndicate Original. Uber delivery. Uber. Oh, wow, look at this new office layout. It's so good. Okay, £25.55, please. <laughs> what? Give it to me. <laughs> what do you say? Where's my mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> I've brought your mayonnaise! Oh yeah! No! What? Did you? Whoa, 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 whoa! If you don't understand the context, no, this is a sticker to go on the side of my motorbike. And I said, whoever can find me one... I'm looking for it! I said, whoever finds me one, I'll give him 20 quid. Oh, you want to look for it, aren't Why don't we just call it a tenner each? No, it's All right, you can have 20 pounds. You gave it me. Thank you, Mum. Can I just ask, have you got like 100 of these and you're now just going to start charging me 20 quid a time? I can't believe we found this. Mwah. Are you a happy office worker now? <laughs> and hi, mate. How you doing? Look at you. Look at those grey hairs. Gosh, look at you, mate. You're just maturing, aren't you? <laughs> well, I fed the troops and now I've been put to the slave labour work of signing a billion posters for your faces. So if you want one of these, you know where to go. Syndicateoriginal.com Well, this was short-lived. Lydia's on the way back from swimming and she's locked out of the house. So it's my job to save the day and question <laughs> why on earth <laughs> I've left my window open. Don't ask because I don't know. But dad is here to save the day. Hello. I do look like I'm walking funny, don't yeah. I? Honestly, like an idiot, but I was swimming. Oh, hi, little dude. Look at him, little tiny emperor. You mean gorgeous. I was swimming. So good. Got a picture on screen. I mean, his little outfit. He looks so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's so freaking cute. <laughs> Dad, he's so proud of you. And I'm absolutely good because I was supposed to go down to the swimming and watch it. But when I tried to go out the house this morning and get my Defender, the battery was completely dead. So when I tried to manually unlock the car, it tripped the immobilizer and basically like cut off the entire engine. So I couldn't get in it and I couldn't drive it. So I missed. Listen, I promise that for next time, I will be there, even if I'm walking. And I can already tell, <laughs> you're wondering, what is this on the table? Well, let me show you. It's the world's strongest flashlight, and it has got a green light on it. Which I think means it's ready to go, but I am not turning that on anywhere near you, because I do not need you blinded by the light. We've still got a good few hours before it goes dark anyway, so we might as well get on with what we've got to do for the rest of the day, which consists of a million drop-offs. We've got this for Alice's Arlo, we've got that for the clothes charity bin, and we've got that for the charity shop. I'm also going to go off to be an M, not B and Q, because I don't need any more buckets, as I'm literally staring at one right now, because I want some more storage containers, as I am not stopping until that house is tidy. Feel free to clip that and uh, quote it in five years' time when it's an absolute bombsite. Hello, Sal. Salvation Army box. Actually incredible how convenient these things actually are to donate clothes to charity. You just grab your bag of stuff, pull this big old thing down, load it up. 
and let it go. And this will be a two birds, one stone trip because I need to nip to Tesco to get some baby cow pole for little Alfie because tomorrow he's getting in his injections, in his jabs, and apparently it's going to make him a very unhappy baby. One stop off at the pharmacy later. I've got what we needed and then some. And we're about to find out if the charity shop will take this stuff because sometimes it can be funky about it. And sometimes it can just not be open. Got to try the one around the corner. Oh, it looks like I'm looking for this one because it's about to close. Oh, great success. But I'm going to second. <laughs> It's, it closes today. I I have confusion. Oh, it's not closing down. It's closing for a refit. I'm a freaking idiot. I don't know if you can hear that in the distance, but that is the sound of my defender screaming. <laughs> I like how I'm laughing about it, but there was every possibility that it was being broken into then. But due to its stupid nature and water leaks, I figured it was just being a faulty bugger. Thank God I was right though, because if someone was breaking in, they'd be nicking all of Arlo's monster trucks. Bobbing back in to B&M to see if they've got any more of those mahoosive boxes. And it would seem I've hit the jackpot. Oh, Oh my gosh! You've got to love B&M because rather than putting these storage containers where they usually are with the rest of the stuff, they've put them with the suitcases. Because why not? And what's belting about this find is these are actually way bigger than the other ones that I got. So I'm going to be able to store so much more stuff. Thanking you. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now for the game of how many can I actually fit in my Defender because I've bought four of them. Two fits with these. Number three is, oh, <laughs> it's it's a squeeze. And with four, we're pretty flush, but I reckon we can do two more. How can you not love B&M? It's got absolutely everything. And the best thing about it, it's all a bargain. Bish, bash, bosh. And we'll go on then. I'll take some of the small ones. Um, They only just fit in there, and I don't know where I'm going to put... <laughs> these two other ones because my guesstimation of sizing has kind of backfired but after a bit of jiggery pokery with a box of nappies he's done it yes look at the vehicle i'm getting into <laughs> this is ridiculous all i will say is thank god these are see-through because if they weren't i would be blind as a bat driving but i made it home safe and sound and look at this it is going dark it's almost time i can't believe i'm actually wishing for the daylight to disappear because you know give or take the last few months i've been like i'm sick of it it goes dark at like two o'clock in the <laughs> two o'clock in the evening i'm sick of it give me summer but now i'm thankful i'm not waiting all the way till 10 o'clock for it to go dark the time is almost upon us <laughs> i'm so hoping the battery on this thing doesn't just last like two minutes like do you remember when you were a kid and you get like an rc car you put batteries in it you'd race it around a little bit and it'd just die like seconds later well i'm hoping this will hold a charge for a hell of a long time because that is a big old battery then again they are some big ass bulbs bring it in the box is time this is why i came straight down the back i was risking getting stuck just so i could get these in the house easier oh Oh, I think I have to dislodge the pampers at the back. See you later. And there, there we go. It's like the world's worst game of Tetris. With the amount of boxes I've got, I think I could build a wall. And a big one at that. <sighs> Wasn't wrong. It's mahoosive. But I've just got so much stuff to go in it that it is very, very necessary. Has it gone dark enough yet? Mm, still too soon. Well, Oh, me 20 pound stickers fall out my pocket wow if i would have lost that that would have been 20 pound down the drain can't be having that now i'd stick it on the side of the bike now but it's so cold in this garage this very second that i honestly don't think the glue adhesive would stick so i'm gonna wait until it's a warmer day to put it on we're getting there we're getting there your dad is about to turn the night time into the daytime i think alfie likes watching my vlog <laughs> he's absolutely fixated on it i love it Rather than him watching Dancing Fruit, you can watch his day back. It's six o'clock and I'm confidently saying that when I open this curtain, it is going to be pitch black. <sighs> yep, that's what we wanted. Come to daddy. Now to do a comparison test against this thing, I'm going to take the little Duracell 1000 lumen one. See what this is like first and then we step it up to this bad boy. Down we go. And out we go. This is the first test of the Duracell flashlight. I'm just going to point it at the house. There you go. Little tiny little bit of a spotlight. You have to aim it to actually be able to see the entire house. And now for the mega torch, which if we press this button, oh, um, didn't turn on. I think I'm going to need to run back inside and read the manual again. Because simply pressing this button is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, I think the battery was loose. I just screwed that a little bit. Are you ready? And on your marks, get set, light. <laughs> Hello. 
Are you working? The answer to that is no. So I'm back upstairs and we're reading the manual. Okay, what am I missing here? When you use the flashlight for the first time, please remove the battery protection between the flashlight and the head of the battery pack. Ah, so this is why this felt like it was screwing. So if we go lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, this should just unscrew all the way off. Wow, yep, it's coming off. Look at the size of this battery. <laughs> wow, that is a big old one. And yep, that was the tab that you needed to remove. You know, like them toys, when you pull it out, the battery doesn't go to waste in like a shop. That's effectively what I've just taken off there. So let's put this back on. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to just like nuclearly burn my hand off. So I'm going to move that. It shouldn't turn on, but we know it's fully charged. And now I think it's ready to go, but I'm going to triple check and read the rest of the instructions. <laughs> Normal lighting modes. When the flashlight is turned on, press and hold the power switch. It will cycle from 80 lumens, 2,000, 4,000, 9,000, 18,000, 40,000, 90,000, which is mad. But to do the turbo, which is 200,000 lumens, it says double press the power switch button at any mode and it will activate the turbo mode with 200 thousand lumens another double press uh, of the switches will enable strobe flip an egg you won't want to see that and then simply press the switch once to exit both modes switch on and off the cooling fans with the flashlight off quickly press the power switch four times uh, to switch on the cooling fans in order to cool off the flashlight press it one time to turn on the flashlight and press it one more time to turn off the light and the fans flipping heck what is this thing? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this outside with me. Take three. Again, this is the 1000 lumen Duracell. Gonna turn it on and just shine it at the house. There you go. There's a little bit of light, a little bit of light. And now for the beast. So this is just turning it on and it just puts it on a 4000 lumen beam so you can see a lot more lights. But if we double press it, it goes in. <laughs> the fans have turned on and look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no way that is amazing oh my gosh that is absolutely incredible lydia just rang me and she said that just lit up the entire lounge so that was a successful test but uh aiming it at the house that's got light on it isn't really all that impressive so what we're gonna do is aim it at the field at the back of my house which has got no light on it whatsoever this is what my camera can see on my phone and now we're going to test the duracell pointed into the field in three two one oh there you go you can see a little bit just a little bit here you go i'll give you a fair test like pan round everywhere off into the distance there you go that's what you can see and now for the beast this is pressing it once so just four thousand lumen light not that much and double pressing it oh, <laughs> oh my. that's hilarious oh my gosh that is next level nuts Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe how much light that's producing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like having the sun in your hands. I'm going to try filming in wide angle, which is really bad in low lighting. Because look, if I film just even my house, this is wide angle and the low lighting sucks. This is one times and you can see it like lets more light in so you can actually see more. But because the beast is so bright, I'm going to film in this mode and I'm going to turn on the super torch. Oh! <gasps> This is insane! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, this is easily one of my best purchases I've ever made. This is ridiculous! This is absolutely ridiculous! Look at that, it's creating enough light for me to like film behind it. Oh my gosh! And the light off? What? What an amazing purchase. That is so good. I didn't even have that thing on for so long and the battery pack is already pretty warm, but I just touched the top of that and that is like, that's like boiling. That would like almost burn you that gets that hot. Like, oh, I, I, I need to get my temperature going and see how hot that is. What did you think? It was really bad. Was it? It looked like, um... <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> Police helicopter above us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just so happens that up in the upstairs bathroom, I have one laying around. So what is the temperature saying? 54 degrees. Wow. 
Yeah, that got really, really hot. Flipping heck. Now, I think the question is, is it worth £700? And the answer is yes. Yes, 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 and yes. Vic, I made a very silly purchase. What have you bought? The world's brightest flashlight. Uh, uh, do it. <laughs> um, probably not in the house. It might blind us. So this is the Duracell one. Yeah, little torch. Pretty torch, Pretty torch right? <clears throat> Step over here on the ice. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it! It's absolutely. Oh my gosh, it looks like the bat signal! It's insane! I just wanted one. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing! I've got to go. I've, I've, I've got to go and show my dad. Because this is one of those manly things that I think he'll appreciate. It's a frozen death trap at me dad's house. Look at it. It's like an ice rink. Mine and farter. Oh, I see you've got a torch. What else would I be doing out here? <laughs> Guess what I bought. <laughs> Wait. A torch. Dad, I didn't just buy any torch. <laughs> turn it back. No, turn it back on. Oh, yeah. Yours. Dad, I built the world's most powerful torch. 200,000 lumens. What? <laughs> yeah, you take that to charge up. Uh, all is day. That is the battery. <laughs> Are you ready to go and test it? Yeah, yeah. That's Come on. <laughs> I knew he'd be impressed. That's yours on now. What lumens is that? 975? That's 975. Right, turn yours off. You ready? Here's mine. Wow. <laughs> How insane is that? How insane is that? <laughs> there you go. Mate, how nuts is that? Mate, it's unreal. Look at the size of it. <laughs> I'm ready for him to point in my direction and I go legally blind. Isn't that just absolutely bananas? <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, I can't get over how good it is. To keep it cool, even in this temperature, it's got three fans running to keep it going. That's my right. Turn, turn it off because uh, apparently I don't know how long it yeah, lasts. Page, right, but right. yeah, yeah, it, you only have it on for a short amount of time. Just gonna turn on my one. Th hey, this is a one thousand lumen torch. Yeah. This, just so we can see each other and not be blinded. What are you turning it on? Yeah, the just one? that top one. So you press it once, it puts it on four thousand lumens. You press it twice, it puts it on super mode. Right, we're gonna set up a new test. So this is my one thousand Duracell. There you go. You can see a bit of spots, a few places. Double tap it, Dad. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. How good would that be for like search and rescue? Being able to see everywhere. Look, I could just look across everything. It's boys. Is there? Oh, but <laughs> don't stroll. <laughs> there is someone coming up from the woods, so you strobe light them. <laughs> The poor guy's gonna be like, what on earth? It's the world's, it's the world's brightest flash torch. I'm all right, mate. How are you doing? You okay? I didn't want to put it in your eyes. It's insane, isn't it? <laughs> this thing is so good. And I've just worked out how to switch it through like the little modes, like 4,000, 8,000. I did read the instructions, but it just didn't make sense. So I'm gonna show you now. So you press it once and you hold it. And then it, that's first, second, third, fourth. And then there you go. I think that is 120,000 lumens. That's that's crazy. That is absolutely. Oh, right. Search your rescue. It's absolutely bonkers. And then let's see if I'm right. Like, it could already be in the super mode now. Oh no, there you go. Wow. Yeah. So you've got on. Oh, that's remembered. This that's 120,000 lumens. Yeah. So that is the record it used to be. 120,000 yeah, yeah. and then they upgraded it to that <laughs> so if you were to guesstimate the price of it what would you think going off the price i pay for my bike lights you've look, got to be looking at about 500 quid not far off the previous one which was 120,000 lumens that was 500 this was seven wow but yeah. 
because of the people commenting in the vlog, they said, listen, if you're gonna go big, go big. Go, go bigger. <laughs> yeah, touch the side. Yeah, I can see How warm, warm is that? Warm. I know, right? Yeah, you know, you need gloves. This temperature. <laughs> that's yeah. This, that's this temperature with, with fans going. Imagine if it was like a summer's day yeah. night. Oh man. That'd Look. be boiling that, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's why people, I think, say you can cook an egg off it. Yeah. Can't, <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. can't wait for that test. When you were around the side of the house, then I should have just done this. Need a torch, Dad. <laughs> I can't get over how good this thing is. I'd love to know how long the battery lasts. It does say something about it, but I'm sure it's all like temperature dependent. I'll see you when I get my next fun gadget. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Take a guess. Oh yeah. yeah. Bonds to the trucks. Yeah. Tell us to bring see you later, mate. I will do. Successful trip was successful. Oh, I'm home. Are we talking about Jordan's food? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Enough about Jordan. Baby the tea. Oh, we're having pot prawn dish. Prawn dish! I refuse to call it pasta dish because that no one likes pasta. Oh, look at that little dribbly chops. He so can't wait to be able to eat adult food and neither can I. Um, I do apologize. The vlog was one minute late. That's my bad. Uh, kind of got a bit distracted with the torch. I swear Lydia's having a conversation with Alfie right now. This moment, I spit on you. Yeah, I was going to say, I just saw him like spit that out. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> You were like, okay, it's fine. Okay, maybe it's not so fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like he's looking at you as if like he he, he thinks you understand him. Oh. You're saying we need to buy her a ring. Oh, I didn't realize what the conversation was. I thought we were just saying random nonsense. Looks like we're buying you a ring, Vicky. Enjoy. <laughs> Dinner has concluded into a box in the fridge for another day. I guarantee that doesn't get eaten and stays in there for about a week. I've tied it up and I'm taking the stinky prawn packets out to the bin. Because if you leave these in your indoor bin, oh gosh, give it a day and your house will stink. With dinner and the aftermath taken care of, we're going to go down into the basement. Where the new torch is going to come into play. Oh yeah. And we don't need all 200,000 lumens. But if you've ever noticed when I'm vlogging down here in dum -dum 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 -dum, the organized storage room. Uh, yep, there's a pretty picture of it anyway. Uh, it, it's dark, right? So that could turn on these lights. But the low lighting lights that were installed for when it was supposed to be a cinema. And it's absolutely terrible in here. So this is where this comes into play. Because all I've got to do now is press this. And look at this. If I put it, say, I don't know, in the corner over here, facing the ceiling. Or, I don't know, even there. Oh my gosh, you can see me. And you can see the actual room. It's glorious and it's organised. I'm going to try turbo mode. And double click. Oh my gosh, that is blinding. Wow. <laughs> Yep, that's so bright in here that that entire corner is just overexposed. And it kind of sounds like there's a Harrier jump jet about to take off in my basement. Honestly, I was a bit too close to that light. I can't see properly. There's just a big white dot in my vision. And I've kind of worked out why, because when I turn the torch on, if you would look, this is an entire mirrored chair and it just bounced the light into my eyeballs. Ow. Yeah, don't think turbo mode is uh, necessary. Thank you very much. We'll just stick with that. And I can't believe I've only just noticed this. But on the actual light, this is an LED screen. Look, if you press it, to turn it on, it actually says it's 80 lumens. And then if you hold it, you cycle between the numbers and it gets brighter and brighter till 40,000 when the fans come on. And if you carry on holding it, it goes to 90,000. And if you double click it, now it's 200,000. Just listen to that thing. It's unreal. And I'm getting severely distracted by this thing again. I have waited weeks and weeks for it, so I think it's fair enough for me to be excited about it. And just from the use you've seen me messing around with it in here, it's that hot to the touch that I physically couldn't pick that up uh, via the metal top anymore, because that is just w way too scalding. Anyway, distractions aside, I'm going to put this up here and hope that it doesn't melt through the plastic. I'll keep my eye on it, but... Look at this. I can actually see in the basement now. And what I'm thinking is, do we... Oh, sorry, I'm just blinding. I am the light. Do we try and execute Tom's crazy, stupid plan tonight? Or do we leave it till tomorrow when I can actually get someone to help me? Because what I want to do is try and move this sofa from in here and move it out into this area and try and create a bit of a social space that makes sense. I've got a very strong feeling that one, it won't fit in the slightest. And two, if it does, the size of that sofa will completely block this walkway from you getting in here to there, which honestly, 
I'm not that bothered about. Because in Tom's stupid plan, in my mind, there is going to be a wall going from like where that plug socket is across to here anyway. Because even if we don't do like the basement extension, the idea of having a wall going across there and creating a space that you can use here and then a space on the back wall for like storage, for like a changing room area for the swimming pool and like the shower and stuff like that makes total sense. And then here on this wall, we're going to knock a doorway through. This is where the sofa that I want to bring in is definitely not going to fit. But for a flow perspective of the room, being able to come down the stairs round and through a doorway right there makes so much more sense than having to go that way and round or this way past my office, past this random area here, uh, just to get to the bar. If you could just go downstairs and get straight to it, it would be perfect. So this is what we're gonna somewhat tinker around with right now. At 9.54 at night, the smart thing to do would be to organize everything, put it into its boxes and then put them away straight away. But oh no, we're doing this in Tom style, which means just dragging everything from in here, plonking it in there and seeing if it works. I know it's not the smartest strategy, but uh, uh, you know what? I told you, I, I want to get shit done and this is my way of doing things. I think we can collapse this table down and get rid of it. I also actually lied about not organizing things because I'm putting all the stuff you guys sent me into actual boxes so I can keep them safe to look back in the future. But as I was picking this up again, I'm just thinking to myself, how cool would it be if we had a stencil cut out of the Syndicate original lion and could put it on the torch and I could project that onto buildings with that. If anyone's got a way of being able to make that happen, please get in touch with Syndicate Original. That would be sick. Why there's a drying rack in the middle of the room, I don't know. I found an entire box of Funyuns. Thank you, Amy and Cameron. Look at that. It's like a lifetime supply and it's the actual Frito-Lays, which means it's good, good. Andy's gonna think he's losing his marbles when he comes back tomorrow and sees that there's even more cardboard outside the house. Sorry in advance, mate. I've made a bit of a revelation after rolling this all the way over here that I don't actually need to move all of this stuff into there. I just need a clear path from in there to here with the sofa. So I can shove most of this up to the wall, same over here, and we should be sorted. The only problem I can foresee is this sofa and that football table. These things are definitely a two-man job, but where there is a will, there is a way. Me in five minutes. I actually need to stop right now because I completely forgot to measure the sofa and bring it in. Because I'm a little bit worried that the gap from there to there won't fit the sofa, but I have a way of measuring it. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and nearly 11. I would have passed the drunk test just fine then. And if memory serves me right, from this door being open, so here, we need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I don't think my plan is going to work. The one that just fell apart. <laughs> Whatever I'm planning next is going to take a hiatus because Lydia wants uh, just custard, mm -hmm. nothing else. No. Okay, what the woman wants, the woman gets. You're not even heating it up? No. <laughs> There's the things we do differently. You're snacking and I'm moving he sofas. Put his hand in it. He, oh, wa he, he wants some custard. <laughs> Listen, when you're older, you can ransack all the custard you it want. It is half past <laughs> <laughs> Got a big day tomorrow. I know. I hope you're going to be a big brave boy. Daddy got your medicine. It's on the side, but it's your injection day. Okay? Oh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> you looked at me like, why? I've just realised I've got the gym tomorrow straight after it. So my son's going to be in pain. Then I'm going to go off to meet Charlotte, the PT, and she's going to put me through my paces. <sighs> As I will tell my son, you make your bed, you lay in it. And I have come too far to go back now. There's a sofa going in here, whether it fits or not. I'm gonna need some flippy floppies. A coat, which is conveniently by the back door. Cause I'm taking these two things outside. Oh, it's cold. And it's dark. Oh wait. <laughs> Can you just hold this for me a second, lad? Thank you, Defender. And oh yeah, look at that. The coat's kicking into its shiny mode. But let's be quick about this because I'm losing all the heat out of my house. <sighs> my neighbours must be thinking, what is he doing now at 20 to 11 at night? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. And I think I can just leave that there and lift that up on its end rather than having to carry that entire thing out. So I'm going to shut the doors again. <sighs> and see if lifting that up is a one-man job. Moments before disaster, card on camera. Right. Is this where you lift without your back? 
and we just tuck that. Oh, oh. It started to slip. Is it going to stay? Or is it going to slip? Stay, boy. Stay. Stay. Gonna shift this out of the way real quick. Sorry, come on. And we have ourselves a smooth rite of passage for the sofas. No going back now. Introducing the first piece, which is luckily quite small, so we can just uh, whip that out like so. Um, don't ask me about this weird stain and be weird about it. I'm just gonna tell you, it's rabbit piss. I know it's absolutely disgusting, but Lydia wanted a rabbit. And uh, just to quickly dabble on that question, everyone keeps asking, where is the rabbit? Did I eat it? Is it dead? No, it's still alive and it li lives at Lydia's mum's house, but it's not actually Lydia's rabbit or our rabbit. It's actually Lydia's school she worked at, rabbit. So whilst we've had the kid, we've not had the rabbit. So yeah, the, the, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> just did it the bin. Okay, this is a corner piece which I think actually goes there if it was to go anywhere. But like I said, I don't think the whole sofa is going to fit. So it might work as a nice end piece. Time for part numero two, which um, is a bit more difficult to get because that sofa is on top of it. But I think if I've stacked this correctly, it should just pull out. Ready? Oh, yeah. He's a bloody genius. Ugh. The boy wonder. He's only gone and done it. Can it stand up? If it can, that would be so much more convenient. Oop. Oh, I've got to be careful. There's a metal latch on the bottom. Yeah, that's a horrible sound. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dent the bloody bin again. <laughs> All right. Nice. Not exactly sure which this piece is, but I reckon if we kind of like jiggle it all around, is this, oh wait, there's rabbit piss there, there's rabbit piss there. This is, this is the right one. <laughs> this, this is the right one. So move this up here a little bit, slide this into play. Probably should have moved the massage chair out of that corner. It's fine. And look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It works as the divide for the room. Wait a minute. Mm. Mm. A sofa down here is going to look really nice, just saying. So I needed one for the last uh, 10 years, but I'm really sure this is not going to fit. Introducing part number three, which I don't know if we're going to end up moving this somewhere else, because wow, this is, this is big and this is bloody heavy, but this is the one that I think I've got the most concern about. Ugh. Wow, that is a... That is a big boy. Oh, let's find out. Where were we? Oh no! Oh, have I just ripped it? Oh, thank God I didn't. I didn't realise I was that close. I just need to put a hole in the other sofa. Um, where are we going to put this one? This one right around? It is. But as you can tell, wait, what? Will this fit? No, it won't. No. Yeah, there's no way. No way. I knew my measurements were correct anyway. This was the one that I was hoping to put on the end here to like close off this gap, but it is just too big. There's gotta be a way I can lay this out so it works somewhat. Really starting to think I should have moved these things. Hmm. I think I can see the way we should do this. And that's not bringing this into play because it's massive. And it just makes no sense to this layout whatsoever. We shift that, put this against the wall, move everything up, and we'll have ourselves a nice inviting... Oh my God, really? I've only just noticed that. That arm of the chair is a different height to the rest of it. I was going to push that up against there, but it'll go from up to lower. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Is this the part that needs to go? And we actually bring that in to do exactly what I was saying. And we just leave this out. I think this is the way. I'm gonna need a box. I'm gonna take some of this stuff off the table and bang it into here. So that way it won't go flying everywhere. And we're moving this to there. Well, that was a plot twist I wasn't expecting. The table opened in the middle. What? <laughs> it's all going wrong. I tried to move this box, the bottom fell out and everything fell on the floor. This is why I bought so many plastic boxes. Cause cardboard is shite. And all that stuff can now go in here. Like a glove. And it stacks out the way. I'm so hoping I can fit that through that now. I'm like a bull in a china shop. And a bloody motivated one at that. And somehow, I don't know how this has happened, but I still had the tag. For anyone wondering where that's from, 
Collins and Hayes. Cracking so far. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. Okay. The reason why I'm going for such a wide shot here is because I really want you to see how I move this chair. It's so heavy that I have to do this. Are you ready? Fat boy weight. And away. She goes. Right. <laughs> All right. Will this work? Positive thinking, positive thinking, positive thinking, positive thinking. Here she comes. Will she fit? Yes. 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 I am man. I successfully shifted this by myself. And please, please make this work. All right. Okay. So this is going to go down in this corner. And oh my gosh, I can already see something's coming together. You ready? This goes here. Oh la la. I've got to watch out, there's a plug socket behind there. Right? Oh, this could work really well. Now let's move this all along. Oh, stuck on something. There we go. Oh, yes. Look at this. We have a sofa down here. Oh, I like it. I actually do. This, Even though I said there's a door supposed to be going there, um, because the sofa didn't fit, we'll uh, put a pin in that idea. But if we get all the cushions in here, I think we can make this work. I really do. <laughs> this is about to be a workout. Wow, that took so long to move them all and work out which cushion was the right place for the right area. And I've only just noticed in this lighting now, you can see where this side of the sofa was near the sun in the lounge because you can see it's bleached the colour out of it so it like it fades because this was never in the sun over here on that side, whereas this was always in it. Whew, I don't know why I'm doing this as like as fast and energetic as possible because um, I can feel my lower back absolutely burning and I'm doing uh, upper body and back tomorrow at the gym. So <laughs> that, should, that should be hilarious. But there is a reason why I'm happy about the way this has been laid out because there's now something I was worried I was going to have to throw away because I didn't have a space for it that I can put here. And no, it's um, not this Monster Truck Mini sticker. That's definitely a Land Rover Defender. But it is indeed what my granddad got me. I know it looks a little bit out of place. Uh, maybe I should move the lamp because I could put the lamp like leaning over this. It might be quite nice. Um, and you can obviously see the wire, but it's fine. Nobody's paying attention to that. And if we grab the globe, oh, we can give this a new home. <sighs> could this maybe tie things together a little bit more to make it look like it's supposed to be there? I think so. If we turn off all these massive lights, what's, what's the mood saying? Ooh, I like it. Switch those back on. I'm finally disassembling this table, which I've made disappear. We've now got this sofa that's a bit funky. We don't really know where to put it, but I've got two options. I'm going to show you option one, which is we put it there like that, which looks a bit odd because obviously it goes past the sofa, but you can practically walk past it to get through if you needed to. But obviously... It's a bit weird. And then option two isn't even possible because it doesn't bloody fit. I decided to try it there just to see what it'd look like, but it, it's just, it's a bit odd. So even though it's very strange, we're going back to option one. It'll work. It's fine. And whilst I'm making decisions, that's going as well. Get them back open. I've had enough of it. Hold this again, mate. Thank you. I shifted the football table to the side and I'm about to gear myself some new outside furniture. Hope it doesn't rain tonight. It's actually now midnight, and if my neighbours looked out into the garden, this is what they would see. Me, chilling on a sofa, wearing a t-shirt as if it was daylight with a football table. If that doesn't deserve a like rating, I do not know what does. Sweet. And now, because I've moved everything in here and everything out of here, 
I can pull this two like so. Lock it at the top. Swing this round like this. And if we walk away, the secret bookshelf is finally closed. It's been years since I've seen it like that. I know it's just two closing doors with bookshelves on it, but what a wicked feature that is. I'm clearly getting that excited. I'm having a nosebleed. Whilst I had the tissue up my nose, I decided to spruce up the bar a little bit so it looks a bit more organised. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Very good, very nice. We won't talk about behind the bar, but that's a task for another day. But I'm now trying to decide what I want to go here. A 200 IQ play would be to get a cork board big enough for that entire wall to temporarily put in place over the shelving, which I know seems like a bit of a waste, but then I could put a dart board here, which I've got up in the garage, and this is the ultimate place to play. But until I source that, I think we push this out of shot and we reel this back in, which currently doesn't fit, but with a, a kick this way, <laughs> and a wiggle backwards, <laughs> we have ourselves an operational massage chair. As long as I remember to turn the power on. And I think that's all she wrote. Let's get a bit of a vibe on. And this place is looking night and day from when I started. Look at it. This is sick. This is so damn cool. Oh, <laughs> we'll work on that bit later. But look at this. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe it. Who would have thought that if you just stop with the stupid excuses of I can't be bothered or just sitting around for hours scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and you put your mind to something, you can get shit done. This looks absolutely amazing to the point where I want to invite the boys over for a bit. It's been a sweet minute since we've done that. And the thing is, I've got the perfect place to do it. I've always had this. It's just I was being a lazy git and just couldn't be asked until I thought, you know what? It's time we pull our finger out and I know I say it a million times, just get shit done. This looks so good. I'm just, I'm just stood here in awe, just looking at it. <laughs> it's currently 20 to 1 in the morning. Lydia's gone to bed with Alfie. So I think I should do the exact same because like I said, we've got to take him for his injections and I need all the rest I can get for tomorrow. But this has been brilliant. This has been a successful mission. If you guys think I've done a good job here, smash that like button. And if you haven't done, subscribe. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Until we get like all the housework done, which you know could be years and years and years off just with everything going on and the secret project just kind of like putting everything constantly on pause. I think this is a brilliant way to use this space. And one thing that I didn't show you, cause I know the secret bookshelf thing of the whole like, oh, you know, you can open it and go in and out and stuff like that. Well, what I'd potentially consider doing is not opening it again. Because what it allows us to do is in this room, which by the way, now looks absolutely mahoosive. Like, look at the space. I've got to be able to walk around in it. This is absolutely nuts. I've not been able to do this for so freaking long. But if we keep that closed, we can actually put more of these shelving units up against it and store all of this, all of this, and all of this up against it, and then still have plenty of room for anything else. Hang on, we might not even have to do that because I just realized all this here, I thought this was like boxes and stuff, but I forgot these are all the chairs for the dining room upstairs that were going to be getting rid of. And then that's the old TV unit that we're going to be getting rid of as well. So we can actually put more shelves along here. So we're going to have like an abundance of space to store things, which is great. And there'll still be so much room for activities. Honorable shout out in the vlog right now is obviously this torch because uh, if I didn't have that on, look how dark it would be. Mmm, awful. But it is switch off time in the household. Because I am well and truly getting curly fingered to bed. And if you don't know what that means, it's one of these get here now. So at nearly one o'clock in the morning, guys, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I, I really have because again, these past few days I've been like, oh, what am I going to do today? But I'm like, I need to stop thinking like, oh, what am I going to do today? And realize what I've got to do. Not what do I want to do, which is a nice thing to do sometimes, but what do I need to do? And this was something that I needed to do. And I'm going to continue on with it to get this house in the perfect position. Like, to, to have a kid in, you know what I mean? I need everything organised, tidied and, and ready. It's not exactly child friendly in the slightest. There is so much alcohol up there, it's ridiculous. Luckily, it can't reach just yet, but you know what I mean? Just getting it all prim and proper and being being proud of my home. Like the amount of times I've brought people down here and just been embarrassed of how messy it is, is ridiculous. All because I've not put aside the time and the tension necessary. And 
it's so easy to do so. I can happily sit there scrolling Instagram or TikTok, like I said, for ages, or watching YouTube videos, or sat upstairs watching Netflix with Lydia for ages, which I do really enjoy, but when there's stuff that I need to get done, this is what I need to prioritize. I, I prioritize time with Lydia and family and stuff, but rather than wasting my time, I need to spend my time more effectively and just be proud of what putting that time to it can create. So I need to go because she's just texted me saying I need a drink of water. And lads, <laughs> you know, that is the final straw of I'm thirsty. I'm about to get shouted at. So if you have enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like and click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys for the next vlog on, I believe if this is going live on Friday, I will see you on Monday. So have a cracking weekend. I'm going to love you to leave you and leave some comments and suggestions down below as to what we should do with the torch. So until then, thanks for watching and a sadios.